Yeah. We're writers. It's like, mm. it's in our DNA, like mm -hmm. from the cavemen to the Egyptians to the Sumerians. Big talk there. Like, yeah. They yeah. move like... Big talk. Big, big can talk. I say something interesting? What's that? My granddad, right, he used to do, uh, you know the, the, the letters on the gravestones? Yeah. Stonemason. Stop it. Yeah. And when I look through my family 100 years ago, there's like uh, graphic designers and stuff. But the, the stonemason thing, it's, I find it interesting, like a funny coincidence there. He was doing letters on the gravestones. And then we, I was doing the letters on the trains. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official .com. <laughs> You need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Canna Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Canna Podcast, live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be, choose to be, or want to be. And we are sounding good. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk, hold tight, strain station, of course. Uh, not to mention everybody's got the television app. Big shout out to yourselves. You are, you are the winners. Um, sharing is caring. This is a podcast we're all about that. And, uh, if you don't know, get to know. We're about the sport in art, street culture, music, and more. And inside the house, we are taking it back with a <coughs> legacy deep dive uh, with three gentlemen, one returning guest and OG. Uh, not to mention, East End is most definitely, definitely in the house. We're going back 80s style to a time where you guys weren't even born the majority of you. We're gonna get into it super deep and tell the story from A to Z. Fuji, yes I, chain, inside the place. What are we saying, gentlemen? Big up, word. Yo. What are you saying, Fuji? What are you saying? How are you feeling about being here at the moment? Listen, mate, I'm very happy to be here today. Thank you very much. Right. It's Your a pleasure story needs to, to be told. You know what, like, I've, like yeah. all through the lockdown and stuff, like, I came across, like, your podcast and, like, started watching it. And like, you know what, through the lockdown, you kind of, mm. like certain days I felt a bit low. You got you got me through it, you know what I mean? I was watching it, like I'd always been involved in, like I always liked art, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it goes back, like not even, even before graffiti, like when I was at primary school, they give us a project about Egypt mm. and just like the pharaohs and the writing on the wall. So like my graffiti comes Sick. even long time before, Big up. before <laughs> graffiti. Because like, that's deep, that's deep. That's deep. At, that's deep. at the end that's of the day, right? Like, that's deep, that's deep, that's deep. When, I, when we saw these writings on the wall, our whole civilization come from there. Mm. So like why in the future then when we started writing, it became criminal. Like you'd, you'd get up and people would be like, ah, what are you doing that for? Mm. Gonna tell yeah. your mum. But if it weren't for the people writing on the wall in the beginning, like even the cavemen, like we yeah. would, we just wouldn't be here. Like we, we wouldn't be here. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm would, feeling you, man. You wouldn't feeling be doing you, podcasts. You, this you. technology, nothing would have been yeah, written. Yeah, yeah. Like and and as you get older, right? I was born in like I'm born in the seventies, but then when it got to the eighties, the energy it was different. Cause like for me, like it was all about energy, like. The, just like the idea of your name just traveling around the city mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. like you know if you lived on your estate you only knew people on your estate and that's what it was like before graffiti became like in in the 80s that way it was mm -hmm, yeah. you just hanged about with your people on the estate have a kick about ride your BMX mm. then when graffiti come out like I remember I went around my cousin's house he used to live like in Acne and uh, he had a VHS cassette, like, of Beat Street. <laughs> yeah. So, like, he put it on, like, their body popped in. I generated, like, I could, I could see what they were doing, but I couldn't do break dancing for shit. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I saw spit. And that's what <laughs> did it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It was just like... <laughs> the geezer was there, mate. It was just like right in his name. It looked grimy. You know, I, I tell you, man, this, this could be one hell of a fucking podcast. That, that, that was the energy. Yeah. It was gr like because when I first met them, it was about art. Yes, like, yeah, he'll, he'll blur that bit. <laughs> it, yeah, like, you. it was about art. Like, you had the Chrome Angels, mm. like, you had the. Um, the Weetabix advert, Artful, Artful Dodger. Dodger yeah. It was more about art. Like, so. He was a piecer, like, 
when when I first linked with like when I go round to his estate, like because he come from a different area, like he was piecing, like and he was on a level like far beyond what anyone that I knew could do. Like he he was proper. Big up your side. Yeah, yeah, he's big. Like he, he, he do you know what? Right, this this is this is the thing. When I first met him, it was art. Like he, because he was writing. He was like doing pieces before mm. we even went on the trains. Like, and he was advanced. Like the guy, he's got the technical ability that if he would have pursued it, he would be the. He'd be like a living legend. Like people, they as soon as you'd say the name, you'd you'd remember like what he did, but. Back then, cameras as well, mm. they were like a luxury because, like, not just the camera, you had to get the film developed. So this is why, mm. like, people like my man there, his art's not really been, like, it's not seen because back then you did it, the council would clean it or mm. whatever. So... Mm. They were hot on it. Yeah, they were, they were more on it. Like, if you, if you had a piece on the street, that was big, weren't it? Mm. Like, because... And in the right place. And in the right place. Mm. And, like, so it went from art... Like linking with him, and then like all of a sudden now people were starting tagging the trains like they're getting up, and then the energy changed like so it went from beautiful pictures like Chrome Angels, like um, Artful Dodger yeah. and all these other guys, then all of a sudden it got nitty gritty like the energy <laughs> changed like yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say not at first it was militant it was just like you know cap spit. They were big influences on the, cause the London scene ain't like New York. They they like to do pieces. In London, it was just about more the merrier, weren't it? Yeah. Like at the end of the day. The more the more you it didn't even matter if it looked shit. The more you did, the better you got, the more you get like you're being talked about. And it was you're getting it up. was yeah, you're getting it was up. the energy, like the whole mm. the whole effect of the energy, like when you like you're getting up or whatever. It was different. But you know what? The the point of the view, what I'm trying to make, is that it's in our DNA. We're writers. It's like mm. it's in our DNA, like mm-hmm. from the cavemen to the Egyptians to the Sumerians. Big talk there. Like, yeah. They yeah. knew. Yeah. Like big talk. Big, mm-hmm. big can I, can talk. I say something interesting? What's that? My granddad, right? He used to do. Uh, you know the, the the letters on the gravestones. Yeah. Stonemason. Stop it. Yeah. And when I look through my family, hundred years ago, there's like uh, graphic designers and stuff. But the, the stonemason thing. It's, I find it interesting, like a funny coincidence that he was doing letters on the gravestones and then we, I was doing the letters on the trains. That's amazing. <laughs> Dude, so that's how, that, then was like a fundamental influence there. That's it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, even now I'm full of art energy. Mm, mm. You know, there's people that I'm, I'm around and they're like artists. My girlfriend's got a degree in art. Mm-mm. You know, oh, you must love that. Yeah, bigger, yeah. that's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Degree, yeah. Come on. I think people underestimate the value, especially of its time, because the way it was fobbed off in the eighties as being like this. Oh, it's just vandalism. It's just vandalism. Just, just, just troublesome kids. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. But, but at the same time, uh, this is a uh, a working class uh, <clears throat> a, 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 attack, and that's one thing that the uh, the authorities and yeah, society well, don't like. Respect mm. on that, man. It's true, isn't it? They wanted to shut it down. Yeah. Like because you know what? I, like you were talking about this years ago. Yeah, even with like, the break dancing. Yeah, even like you know what? Right? There's a mm. dude. Like I'm not sure anyone who's watching the podcast. You gotta check this dude out, man. I will give him a hundred percent props. Thousand percent props, Santos Bonacci. Like Ooh. he runs it down like all is electric. Mm. Like he, his podcast is called All Is Atum, which is Egyptian, which means all is electric. Right, gunshot. So <laughs> you know gunshot. What, gunshot. What, what, what you yeah. understand? What you understand, yeah. right? Is nice. you know, like poor people like us, right? We always got a lot of energy, like break dancing. Them kids when they're doing windmills, they're mm. creating a mm. thing called vortex energy, which is it's a good energy, mm. right? So then all big of a talk, sudden, big tool, like big at talk. the beginning, like you know what, the whole hip hop culture goes back to the Egyptian thing because when we become body like B boys using the Zulu nation, mm. so it's going back to its fundamentals. Mm. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> big tool, man, of, like big we, talk. you know what, right? You had a lot of working class people. They used to black hated white, white hated black, like yeah, it changed when hip hop. And when hip hop came, everyone got united, and you know what. The like people, that. they didn't like it. So what they did is they brought in, like, gangster rap. Mm. And then that's when the, the London graffiti, like, 
88, 89, Public Enemy, NWA, the whole vibe changed. It was just nitty. Mm. It was gritty. Like, you'd go on the underground, it stank. There's rats. <laughs> that smell, <laughs> that smell was mm. you know what? Yeah, that's, that's that smell. smell. Do you know yeah. what? Yeah. Like, I'm going to tell a story about this, <laughs> this, like, what happened, right? In East London, I don't know about anywhere else, right? The film Death Wish 3 come out, and there was this guy, mate. He had like these big two Rockweiler dogs, and he used to come on the line. He thought, yeah, oh, he thought he was Charles Bronson. He'd come on the line. If he, he thought he was up to something, he'd let the dogs off, and they'd like they'd go after the art. Well, what, he, what, let them free. Let them free. He's a roam on the trains, used to on the lines, up like, and down. You know, like, you'd be on like the he's a like he was bombing. He was just, he, 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 was, he was doing the job the BTP <laughs> could never even do. What was his name? No one knows. He was just a, a dude in his what 40s. What about the handbag snatcher? <laughs> like, yeah, it was grimy, <laughs> man. So, was grimy, there was a handbag snatcher. Tell him the story. Yeah, do you know what? Right? <laughs> the the Rottweiler Patrol. Rottweiler side, Patrol. Side one done that dog with a Lucas 8 bottle because the Lucas 8 bottles were glass. Well, side one done him? Yeah. So as, as a he train was pulling him. into the station, he got him. He's, he's done the dog with the dog started screaming. Do you oh, know no. what though? Well, side one was I'll a nutter. I'll tell you something, yeah. right? You'd be like, you'd, like you, because my land, it was a writer's bench. And then like one day we're sitting there, and then like on the other side of the platform, we saw this dude with two Rottweilers and he's just like, he's pulling their, like, you know, like he's looking at us and like we're looking at him and like there's about 20 of us. So like we're all looking, like who's he? <laughs> Next minute, there's a train coming on the other side and we're all sitting there and then when the train goes, he's like a ghost, mate, he's gone. So no one's paying wow, attention. Do you know what he, I wanted to tell some stories of time he went yards when we all went Hammersmith? Yes, I give some stories. Give some stories of the yard yard stories. Yes, I give some. Yeah, battered hamster. Give some. Give some details. Oh yeah, sorry. Give some. Give some. A truest accounts, by the way. This is this is all past tense. You know, um, talking of historical uh, documentation here. Get on in. What what was that yard over where where you used to jump out of the movie and train? Oh, like New Cross. New Cross. Spaz Spaz took us down there. We went in between the carriages. And the door, he's opened the side of the door of the train. The train's moving. He says, when it slows down at this point, it was like being in the Second World War. You know, when you watch one of them war yeah. films and... The Great Escape. You can see these traffic lights coming up from the side of the train. I thought, if you jump into a traffic light, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So as it slowed down at this point, we jumped out on this grass verge and just rolled down the hill. Yeah. Like, and the yard, like, there's a small yard over there. And we, yeah, that's how we got in there. And then you just have to worry about how you're going to get out. People say that, oh, yeah, that it was a lot easier back then, but there was other different kinds of obstacles, like dogs chasing you and shit. You know, this, yeah. this isn't normal. Like vigilantes. Vigilantes, that was it. Yeah, vigilantes. And just people that would just wanted to be superheroes for a, for I a just day. think that, you know mm. what, like, like I said, like the energy, not just for writers, the whole energy. A bit closer it, to the, 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 the whole energy kind yeah. of changed. Like, back then you had, like, the minor strikes, you know, like, all these things was going on, like... Yeah. In society, people, they felt like, they felt done, really. They weren't like, we had nothing. Like, yeah, with, we still with, happy. We listen, still with graffiti, we had, we had nothing, yeah. but we were happier. We had yeah. nothing, but we had everything. Yeah, yeah. you're right. And it was right. free. Mm. We had what we wanted. It was free. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Was, everything free. was free. Like yeah. today, you do your Oyster card. That shit never, ever happened. You know what? Writers... They got to know people. Like, there were certain train stations we could go to, and if we saw someone in the box, when he saw us, he'd give you free travel cards. Stop Mm. it. He'd let you get up. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'd let you get up. They didn't care. <laughs> they were scared. Not that they were scared. They were scared of you. They were, nah, scared. nah, nah, nah. They, you know what? They used they to see us daily, mate, didn't they? Yeah. Every day, they're at work. They see us, we're at work, aren't we? Like, you know, so, like, they, they have a camaraderie for you. You know, the system is not like what you think it was. Like, there's stories what I, we could talk about. I, like, I don't know if we should. Where they yes. used to, they used to yes, encourage you, you to do it. Mm. They even left him a letter, yeah. didn't they? Huh? <laughs> they left well, you a letter. Yeah, when we used to do the insides, they, we used to do the insides so much, there was a message writ back to us. It happens, it's writ to side one, right? It said, side and yes, I have thanks for the overtime yeah. <laughs> from the cleaners. <laughs> and also, this is what I was coming to, you actually, you told me a story just before we recorded, of course, of, of, like of how hard you would hit the trains and messages would be written. You'd write messages to them and it was it became this back and forth thing, mm. wasn't it? We used yeah. to do the district line 
So we used to get on the trains wherever they was empty and used to just cane them. We used to call it bronxing. So you did every panel as, as much as you can, you know. One, two, three carriages. So we used to do all the district line. Yeah, then you used to we, bag the insides though. Yeah, we used to wait, wait until the trains come back round. You should round send them back down. <laughs> it know? was more gritty. And then we used to move on to the Metropolitan line and we used to cane that until the trains come back round with your tags. Sometimes we'd do it so that you got two carriages. So, you know what, we was really, really giving out some work there. Mm, that's, yeah. a, that's a lot of work. And you, you also made a point, I, I, I want to bring this up, because going back to the Egyptian narrative and the fact that... The, 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 deep talk, man. The, the deep push, talk. Yeah, deep deep talk. talk. Deep deep but but you, you mentioned, you were like, you know, that you literally destroyed a whole fucking train, vandalised it, essentially. There's and a point, there was a point we made, right? I used to get the fire extinguisher and smash the windows out. I used to rip the seats off, take all the lights out, just just to smash it to pieces. <laughs> right? And I used to write, this is what vandalism is, graffiti <laughs> isn't. And we 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 done this. Got, we got off a mile in train station. I remember some geezer, he jumped on, he was going, oh, ICF, yeah, for ICF, yeah. and side one said to him, shut him out, I wasn't going to do you. <laughs> <laughs> oh he was a bit of a nutter, innit, man? He, he I, I can remember he, the ICF. He, he's, he's not I can him, remember man. him stuffing with the ICF. Yeah. As a little, yeah, as a little young man. As a, a little young man. He was like 14, 15, rocking big men. Yeah. Proper. Oh, no, listen, listen, listen. I've seen the comments on your last podcast, Jane, and I ain't joking, like. I, I, I often I often pinch myself the luck I have in having gentlemen like yourself around and how vicious you fucking were back in the day. Mm. No, you, do you know but what? But it was nothing to it, it was a normal. It was just listen, do doing our thing. It was just life. You know, like... It was, know, it was like, nothing. It was just nothing. It was nothing to us. Yeah, I know. It was just our life, the way we were. It was just in society. We were always, we you always real what? niggas, you, man. You had, like, a hierarchy. It, like, I'm not... You know what? There's 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 writers, right? They they were up, but they they weren't gangster or crook, but they were up. So they had like a a respect, mm. like, and this is what it was like. These guys, they had like, um, what would you call it? Like you was high up in the hierarchy. Like you couldn't get up no more than him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He at. This is this is what when I say I could say that there was no one bombing like me in my day. No, not even half. Yeah, uh, not even half. Let's get into that. Let's get into that. Not even so half. we're talking mid eighties. I rocked it. No, early I rocked 80s, it. Almost. It's like yeah, so, so. Who would we say? Who would we say was up, up, up? So we're talking. Robo, Piers, Robo, right, you Piers, 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 isn't it? Yeah. Let's, stand, go, let's get into it. it standard as for me, it wasn't just about who was up. Like I said, it's a it's a lot about energy, and. He had a lot of energy, mate. Like when Chain. you, yeah, like he, when he, like what, what would? It's talking about earlier years. Like yeah, when, what we're talking about is he was more known for his notoriety than what he was known for getting up. Mm -hmm. That was that was it. And, and what it, was his notoriety? Like he's, he's not, not here at the moment. It, so what's the notoriety? What are these brothers? Give us, you know what? Give us, give us right? a real because he, he's too humble. Well, he I'm, won't, he won't I'll, say I'll be truthful with with him. There's an old there's a, like an old Cockney saying. You don't suffer fools, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what? He knew before he even got to speak to the guy, like, what'd you write? He knew they were pranging. So it's in human nature to just, like, be, to go beyond that, to show them, the like, prowess, yeah, I'm, like, I'm boss. Right. He was up. There's no doubt about it. For me, he, like, like I said, I, I would never run no writers down because every writer was fantastic. It doesn't matter if you was at the bottom of the pyramid or you was like him at the top. Big tool, big You know tool, what I mean? Because tool, like at the tool. end of the day, back then, like I said, like during the eighties, like there was not just a depression, but East London, it was poor, mate. It's not like <laughs> now. It's not. It's not yeah. like now, mate. Most of most yeah, of do you remember going on ben, ben Johnson Estate? Burnt out cars, yeah, it broken was, do windows. You know what? Where I lived, right there was pissy, like pissy no, pissy do you blocks. know what? Um, hold on, but yes, sir, you said you said to me as well. I, I, I do want to throw you in on this one because you you did say that you felt, and I, I know the other guys concurred that that graffiti, the what set precedence was was this attitude of the eighties and the aggressive nature of it. Because when you think of hip hop disciplines, there ain't actually much. Everything right. has that ag, ag, ag the whole time. You know what? It's the internet. I'm, I know it's, it's good to have this at your fingertips, the phone and the, the laptop and everything. But if that wasn't there, 
everyone would have to go out again and start doing stuff. And you know what? London is safer now. When we was doing it back then, most parts of London was a no-go area. Yeah, that was true. You couldn't go anywhere. You know, now it's all trendy. Like Brand Deer. You know, know what? what? This and area was London, London. There's no, there ain't no respect. Let him right? talk. There ain't no talk. respect. There's some right, I think it's a lame tag called King. Right, it's winding me up now. That coffee's shook me up. <laughs> right? Anyway, in my Hall of Fame, we've done a wicked piece. And some agent dude come around and he said, there's a man and a woman doing a shitty silver dub over your piece. No. That was proper. Right, over that my was piece. Bad. Do you know what? I thought about it. I thought, should I scratch up a can? Do you know what? Right? And I'll go around there and I'll do it. But if I went around there, I'm going to have to do the girl as well. Mm. And I let that slip. And do you know what? I'm a spiritual person. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. That still gets me today, you know that. If I see that geezer, I'll well, do you're it. Dangerous. I'll do it today. No, but you you're know dangerous. what, right? What it There's is. no respect. Mm -hmm. mm. They ain't no respect. Yeah, they didn't. It's not that they didn't respect it. They, they didn't, didn't know, know you. They don't know they don't, the rules. But they don't he did a, this piece he did with a guy called Blam. Yeah. Like, and the geezer can do fucking photo bad. realism. Mm, and the piece the wall, was man, proper. It was a proper piece. And then, like, he's rung me up. Like, there's some dude going, and I told him it's different nowadays, mate. Like, but it's coming my all of fame. But it doesn't matter, does it's it? They don't, all of fame. They it's don't like, understand listen, that listen, hierarchy. Do you, know, you know what? You know, you know my car. That's like spitting on my car or scratching my car. It's the same to you, thing. To you, it is, but to, to writers well, now. It's not worse. Well, thank you. Because you can thank repair you. the well, thing in your car. Do you know like what? That, it's like, uh, you know, like I saw that podcast you did with Baps. Old type Baps. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he came and painted the spot what he's talking about with us, didn't mm -hmm. he? Like, and like on his podcast, he said there is no Hall of Fames no more. There isn't a proper Hall of Fame where no only rules. only the best. Can I say me, All of us can go. They used to the one, the, the main one we used to be in Grove. The pit. The Grove. It? Grove was uh, the original he, for that. Can I say yeah. something, right? Drax, he's proper. He's still doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know how much respect I have for that? Yeah, so he's grand. I love it. I so he's grand. Can I make a um? Because I, I was thinking about this the other day. Society's I was, lost. I was thinking about the Isn't pit. It? <clears throat> now, someone reminded me the other day that that um, as a writer, because um, I wasn't, I, I'm, I don't ever profess to be in any way associated with the graffiti. No, no, do no. You don't need to be. But but what you're happened so was you don't need to be. You don't need to. Yeah. be. You're, you're dare, brother. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're dare. You're dare. I like to think best I, beatboxer I, I, in the world. Come on, man. Who can talk to you? You're here, man. There is no time, so there's only now. Yeah. This is the thing as well. You've like, done your research, you've done your homework, you've actually done the work. Do you know so what? You're part of what it. happens? What you're happened back it, then is irrelevant. Like what happens tomorrow is irrelevant. Oh yeah, it's no, this is my point. What, so this what's my happening point. right now? This is my point. So back in the day, I used to take writers um, from where I lived in Sussex down to the pit, like a fucking nutter, mm. and I used to go down there. You're lucky. You're yeah, lucky. Yeah, I'm lucky. So here's check lucky it out. So I, I had this daunting moment. Where I looked around. I suddenly realised like I had like three or four of my mates round inside this place, and there's only one entrance in, one entrance out. And on, on further review, right, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, man, back in the day. Now this might be controversial, but I, I'm going to throw it out there to some fucking OGs that are sitting around the table. You don't always get um, on, a, on a Thursday morning. And I'll say this much. I feel like the, the, the Hall of Fames of the 80s and 90s could be perceived potentially as honey traps for the likes of me and my graffiti mates to go in there. Oh, yeah. And they let people doing... just fucking rip you. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the... So you had to have the best graph yeah. writers in there yeah, doing their pieces. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a hierarchy. Yeah. So it don't matter if... Whilst no one's going to go in you there. You might not mm. have been good at fighting or something like that, but if you were known... The locals in that area, like they Bill, would know. Like Bill, yeah. like yeah, Bill's, yeah. Foam. Yeah. They, but they would happily, all have, them they would happily have Scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. go in and paint. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the best looking thing ever so that mugs like me and all of my mates would go in there and you get gripped. But Cheers, it's a, bit, it's a bit weird, like, with you know graffiti I mean? as well, like, that when when you do graffiti, like, you can mix with other, peop like other people in society that you might mm. not have nothing in common with. Mm. Mm. Now you have, like, you've got that kind of... Like yeah, that bond. There's no, whatever. there's no race. Right, it's void of race. Yeah, like, that's beautiful, man. And it bone. doesn't matter if you're rich you or bone. you're poor. You're like, like I was saying to you, like nowadays graffiti. I'm driving around. I see people. Yeah. They're they're painting shop shutters in the daytime, and people are like taking pictures. Yeah. Graffiti art now. It's gone back. It's gone back to the art, but the art got a bit boring now when you drive around, like, it seems like graffiti, because, like, with 
we've had COVID for the last couple of years, right? And, you know, like... Yeah, I heard about that thing. I yeah. think it's a thing, isn't it? Oh. I heard about that, that COVID. Well, do you know what? Horrible shit. The during, pandemic. Yeah, during, the, awesome. during this type of period, like, people that start to get mental depression yeah, where they're right. on lockdown and stuff. And like, it doesn't help all that. You can see it come yeah. out on the roads. Yeah. So mm. now you're looking yeah. at graffiti, you can see that energy. Like, remember mm. I told you about, like, it went from art to getting more aggressive, then it went back to art, didn't it? Like, yeah. so now it's going back to that more aggressive tone again, yeah. like, where... The the, the reason the reason being I had to be the way I had to I was because I used to run away and I I, I was desperate so I just did what I had to do to get by yeah and I think that really that does. was that was it, to me it was about survival you, and I had to do what I had to do you to had get like by. a hard knock life mate yeah you know no what I, I mean? had to I had to, when I had when I left home it was me out there on the road <clears> and I had to do what I had to do to get by and also it, like, it was in desperation and also big up my people's tu steam. And all the ganja passing mm. away, you know, rays, all of them, you know, the real rev. Yeah, all of the like, it's a it, for people to. Okay, there's some people that experienced hardship through encountering the likes of yourself, the likes of you guys at a certain time in your lives. But I think in context of the way, and this is by no means an excuse, but it's ju just a general observation. You understand? Um, graffiti has never been accepted in. the in the so social space because of its working class no. and big uh, uh, um, presence. And I think, that, I think that's telling of how it's perceived now. I think it, it, the course it's run, it, it, it can often be seen as quite unfortunate because actually it's the most revolutionary art form that's come out mm. of the fucking last fucking 30 yeah, years. Yeah, my like girlfriend this. loves it. She's, I, showed her, I showed her it. She's fucking trying to do it herself. What are you all doing? The spray, spray, uh, airbrushing. You know, yeah. Yeah. What if graffiti is before its time? Like in a thousand years' time, we could be like the pharaohs, the yeah. hieroglyphs. They, they, they might find graffiti and <laughs> yeah. they might, they yeah. might think that's your language, like yeah. wild stoles. They yeah. might look at it and then you'll get someone like uh, Zachariah Sitchin. Mm. He like he. What would you call it? <coughs> you know the the Samarian text. He translated yeah. it, didn't yeah, he? Cuneiform. Like to about the story of the Anunnaki. It could be because everything. Well, they, uh, someone in the future might end up looking at a wild stone, not understanding what it is, because like <laughs> language has changed. <laughs> and then like, true, you know, then they might say, yeah, you know what, like it's true. That's, that was a street. Like, that was a street language. It's a cryptic how, thing. How yeah. do we know what you know? Like when you see the Egyptian writing, right? What we're taught at school and what it actually means is totally different because one is knowledge for the people mm. and one is forbidden knowledge like you can go like online and there's like people that study like ancient egyptology mm. and what we're taught isn't what it really was like the yeah. pyramids weren't for no dead kings because no one was ever found but in that's them. the same sort of thing with with graph there are yeah. some inf it's, internal it's information that people will never like, get you know what i mean mm. they never quite get what does what does cbm mean what does dds mean what does What's ATG, man? What does CS mean? All these different things, like, you've got to be in it to That's understand. probably the conversation that goes on in the British Transport Police Office. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, isn't it? <laughs> They're racking their brains out trying to understand it, you know? <laughs> Tell me some stories. Tell me some god-awful, finally get this off your chest. All right, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one. Get right. in. What's the biggest one with my hand on? Me, Pusher. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Have a, have a word. Me, Pusher, Puck, and some Chinese kid. We've done this piece at West Ham train station, right? Yeah. It said free South Africa. Uh, 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 uh. Next minute, there's a cop on the roof saying these are all nicked. So me and Puck run the length of West Ham going towards Canning Sand, right? Yeah. Push out, and the Chinese kid jumps over the, the fence onto the tracks. That's what I should have done. I just got out of breath, man. I, 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 I sort of give up halfway instead of jumping over the tracks. We got nicked, right? I remember in the police station, because I was only young, the cop really said to me... How old yeah, were you at this time? I was about 14 or 15. 14 or 15. Yeah. This cop where he said to me, he said, hey, I put that down on the desk. It was a can of Amorite, smooth right, right? So I knew my prints were on it anyway, so I'd done it. We had court cases, right? And th we had a few court cases, and it, every time it was, it was the, the judge was an English dude, like a white bloke, mm. right? On the final case, it was an African uh, judge. Mm -hmm. And the cop was going up to me, he said, this, this is the damage they've done, this, like this long and this high, it says Africa. And the judge looks at me and my mate, right, and smiled. Oh, 
We got not guilty. Oh my god. Yeah, and then he started bollocking the cobber. Really? Yeah. <coughs> That's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. What luck of the draw that was, eh? I know. Because wow. when he smiled at us, I've looked at me, mate, he's looked at me with both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both yeah. had this surprise. What, what? Look. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. had this theory. I've got this theory where I feel, I don't know if you're watching this thing on TV, it's called The Hunted or something. It's this where celebrities get on the chase and the, you know, the powers that be have to try and find them. And if they don't find them, they win a prize. I feel like that should be the, the clause of most graph writers, to be fair. Like, if, if anything, you're challenging the system, then the, then the system should be penalised. And you guys, once you've hit your five-year streak, you should be celebrated and given, like, some MVQ to yeah. some university art degree course where you get to do your... Do you know what I mean? It's is a that, risky game you guys play, you know Do you know what, what? Things have changed, That we played. Right? About, played. That, that we played. played. 20 years ago, Black Mo. He said to me, he said, can you do my A-level for me? I, st I laughed at him. I said, I said, what are you talking about? I said, I, I ain't brainy like that. He said, it's about hip-hop. I went, are you serious? Mad. It was about hip-hop. Do you know what? what he I, wanted I, you to do it? He wanted me. He got, he got <laughs> par I passed him, right, with yeah. A's. Now, if we had it, if we could have chose it, like back in the, I would have been a professor, now, you know what I mean? Like he a PhD. Yeah. PhD. Professor, yes, I This, uh... And listen, the guys are going to want to hear some more of these bad man stories. Yeah, let's talk about East some other writers as well. Yeah, let's pick up some other there writers. There was PIC. He was king yeah. of infrastructure. He was everywhere. Buses, trains, anywhere. Walk streets. Yeah. What's that road in North London? Holloway Road. Holloway Road. He was king, man. Yeah. Of, mm -hmm. of infrastructure. Yeah. And there was like feud. I used to love going yard with feud because yeah. he reminded me of... The original days when TIC used to bomb the Northern Line, I kind of wanted to go back to that. So I I would go yards with Feud, um, even Rev, fucking Fuel, you know, and bomb the yards with them. So I could get that vibe of bombing the old school with them. But I was old school, but I wanted to be the old school Northern Line. Mm -hmm. I, I ended up king of the line. You know, I batted it for years, for years. Mm -hmm. For about a year, I batted it, batted it every day nearly. Well, not every day, at least two, three times a week. Other writers from your side, yes, I, what, you know, people that influenced you and you were associated with? Do you know what? I was, my fascination going on the underground. Robbo, mm. Doze. Mm. Yeah, just how, how they could have their, their tags were on every carriage, on every train of the underground. Mm -mm. You know, that was, that, was like, that was like the celebrities to me, man. <coughs> yeah, and all, and all the others, Choppy, <coughs> Sam Pick. Uh, <coughs> they had their time. I think yeah. a lot of people have their time. Do you know what? It's like... Urge, urge. <coughs> it's yeah, like urge. being on safari. <coughs> like, yeah, you know, you're, you're top of the target for a certain time and then... Yeah. It's not that you've been you, off. What about you in terms of influences? Like, and, my influences... We're talking from an East London point of view now. Jeez. Like, back then... Me? You'd, like, you'd go out... Like, because graffiti art in East London, where I lived, there wasn't really a lot of graffiti art. And mm. I remember there was, like, me and my mate, Ellis... <clears throat> and like some other dude, like we went down Bethnal Green and this was like about 1985, something like, late 84, mm. like 85, and there was this place called The Camera Works and they had this guy, Xerox. He was painting like the shop shutter and it, had, like, it, was, a, it was in the local newspaper that he was going to be there so you could turn up and kids could have a go like That's painting so the shop, okay. shop shutter. This is Intel. So, like, we got there, he's, it's, it's just like he's doing, like, a shadow city line, like, with the sky in the background, like, night time, mm -hmm. and everyone's getting to have a go writing their name. Like, you write your name then. Yeah, yeah. But there's, like, boxes and boxes of, like, car paints. Mm -hmm. And, like, we're from East London, like, <laughs> we're straight out of a Charles Dickens novel, like, the way that we was when we were kids, we're like, you know, Oliver Twist and yeah, that, yeah, yeah. like, we're out there, mate. I've got a story, right? We used to rub, <laughs> rack the pins out of this station as an all gate, right? Mm -hmm. I remember me, Funbox, stop one. You was probably there. Side one was there. We've gone in this station as, and there was a two-way mirror behind the desk, right, at the back. And this woman, she no, went, right, she went, John, the nick knocks are back. Ooh. That's what she said. And I oh. thought, I looked at Funbox, I thought, oh, I hope he ain't heard that. And he heard it, because oh. I just see him. He grabbed the paperweight. And he's thrown it at this two-way mirror. 
the woman's run off screen. Really? <laughs> fun yeah, fun nice boxing things, and man. stop one. Yeah, so fun tough. boxing and stop one. Have you, have you, do you know about them? Uh, we've got to know of them. Of they course, was yeah. up, man. Yeah. They was... Them, them, yeah. them two, them two, yeah. them two. Right, same, same fucking right. No, no, they battered it. They battered it. In, in it, they, yeah. at the moment, they, at, in the moment, they, they forgotten. It. They've forgotten, but at that time, like they were, they were notorious as well. Like because mm. yeah, they used to be like little pests. They used to send their train back what? up to me, it's and I'll send just, train back up to them. Do you know what it was? <laughs> we used to send trains back up to each other. It was like a little battle. It's like email sending them out. <laughs> like chains are back. Yeah, yeah. You must. It's like pen pals. <coughs> it was. Pre- it was pressure. Yeah. It was pressure. I had to keep going yard. You was on, Do you know what? This is the thing. Like, <coughs> you know, like you had these writers at the very beginning. Like, <coughs> they came out of nowhere. They, they, the East they, End crew they, came yeah, out of nowhere. They were there. So they we, came out of nowhere. we were seeing them, but in East London, it wasn't really proactive. To probably. So what other writers were there in East London? Oh, there was, there was, mate. No. Everybody wrote, mate. It's every, just good to know. Every, it's good to know. Every, even girls, every, even girls. Yeah, girls. Mel, Kel. Do you know what, right? This is this is our <coughs> graffiti started for me. Mm. Like, there used to be a, a guy on my estate, Boogie. Like he was like he Boogie. back then he was like the Chrome <coughs> Angels, mate. But he never did nothing elite. Like he wouldn't go and paint trains. He did like youth clubs, like well, they allowed him to paint because mm. it was top notch work, and he could also do the top notch work. Yeah. And yeah. we we linked like over the fair, like mm. I was with Ellis and I think it was uh, Noah. Mm. We went over the fair and like Ellis knew his mate Scott, mm-hmm. so like we linked. And then while we're there, like we realised that we're all writers, mate. Everyone, like you know, mm. in that film Wild Style, when the ladies car breaks down and yeah, she goes yeah. I'm going to meet the right. we're all writers everyone everyone wrote didn't they <laughs> yeah. everyone did graffiti it was it was the energy like if you didn't do graffiti you tried it yeah, you yeah, tried yeah. it you tried yeah. it you tried it well people used to just come, come along with you because they just love yeah. the clothes you know yeah, yeah. do you know what's interesting we never had no mobile phones, but we always used to we find We always each other. knew where to gravitate yeah, I've to that on about the whole of the underground. Yeah. We're like yeah. pigeons, you know, like you let a pigeon off and it can find its way home. We <laughs> yeah, could do through the, the phones. Energy. Right, we we, we no, were arranged. No, we, 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 we were arranged. We, we were like uh, what you call it, telepathic. <coughs> we knew yeah. exactly yeah. who's going to be but coming. So once you plug into it, you guys genuinely. It's the energy. We were connected. You and we were on the underground. It's all it's all energy. Like when you be Danny, you when it's raining, you hear the lines. <laughs> That's it, mate. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys are invisible. In Love plain that sight. energy, Do you know man. What I mean? You guys are all and invisible it's... in plain sight, and this is mad how you you know you could be. You guys but are it's, so detached it's, from it's, it's society, pro- but it's, you're there. It's, it's progressed mad. to what it is now. Well, now it's a whole different. Like, it's progressed to what yeah. it is now. It started from ideas, and it's just mm. progressed. Do you feel mm. it's contributive, isn't it? Everything that you guys are, 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 are reciting and you know, uh, nostal- nostalgia. People got to know about the history, man. Yeah, they have got to know about the history. It's history. Mm. It's history, you know. And yes, I. I mean, you got your boys have fucking been, and I've seen. He, he's, he's he, yeah, yeah. He's, if there's no one like him. Another level. Like, no one like him. Yeah. He's, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not known. He's not known. He's not known. But it will be known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some of the best yeah, yeah. writers. That's in why England. I'm here today he's taught, to represent he's, these guys. He's like, mm-hmm. he's, he's, what would you call it? Because I think they deserve you it. Them. You oh, like, you schooled them bit. along, haven't you? Like, yeah, 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 no, yeah like, and all that. Some people that have painted who yeah. are like top of the game. Yeah. You've helped along, like technically, because he can do some technical stuff. What, like, you think, why oh, the fuck did you do that? Yeah, like, some of my old old stuff yeah. from the early eighties. Yeah, he well, was the only technical. thing that other person I knew doing stuff like that was what's that geezer's name in the Chrome Angels? Pride, that black dude. Pride. Oh, yeah, it was Pride. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. like, he's on the same level. He's, he's a good, he's good at martial he, arts, mate. Yeah, he's yeah. a. Oh yeah, do, do you know what? I'll tell him this is. Oh, they both are. They both are. They're 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 dance. We're not. They're dance. They're 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 they are. Listen, I'll tell you a. Story. Tell me a story. He's always been into like ninjutsu, aikido, like jujitsu. And when we were like younger, this ain't nothing the day what you're looking at, mate. Because he used to dress in the full ninja gear, mate. Everything. Wow. And we <laughs> bombs. Like we'd go, we'd go yard, and then like you'd be there, then like he would be over the wall. He, he was the like you're the ghost recon. He used to go in. <laughs> What? Like East Ghost Recon the looking man. looking like a yeah. he had the shoes, every you know, like the ninja shoes, Cutting he had the boots. whole everything. Oh, you went full 
full bore. He went in. Listen, yeah, if we Basil see him, there. if he come yeah. flying out, you knew that it weren't a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and if it did come on top, you had them <laughs> just puff of smoke and you just disappear. Tonight, Matthew, I am. Ninja boy, ninja. <laughs> ninja. Like, he, he was Ninja Warrior before Ninja Warrior was even thought about. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was different. This is like if, it if was we, on we, like, we could go on and on. Level. There's so much story in that short piece of. We, did we so couldn't much. even fit nothing in. This is nothing what we're telling you. We it's like we couldn't fit enough. This in. is what we can remember. There's, you got yeah, every so day of our lives, every stories, minute, every yeah. minute of our lives. Just every single. Yeah. Yeah, we used to get chased every day at least once by the by the Alville. At least once. So we was like long distance. They uh, was naughty. They was naughty. You know? I I had a couple of the, a little a little little time up in the eastern, but you know. Well, you used to go there when it, you know it's a place to clutch, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was kind of I made friends and we hooked up and they liked my energy and we used to bomb together. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I used to bring that bomb energy and the energy it's energy not just anywhere that. you should you know go, what? it was right with me. Every area like east and west, like back then, like. There was a competition. People from East London, they didn't really get on with West Londoners. Mm -hmm. Like, and us two, with Ellis, Grady, like... Do you know, I first connected with Ellis at Covent Garden. Yeah. And he was a jacking two man from country. And I thought, right, this little you trying... And they asked me, they asked me to help him. I said, fuck off, man, these are little kids. Do it yourself. <laughs> and he jacked them and they walked off and we just got connected from there. So mm. it's, it's, it's so hard. But he was like, he was like this. But this like is the this. thing. East, he was like East this. and West, they didn't connect, but us lot, we connected. You know I, what connected I mean? with we connected. I connected with everyone. I just connected with everyone from all, big all up, different like, All the South East lot as well, like Hack, Fro, Moe. They like, yeah. we all, we all connected. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I've, I've, I've had moments with a lot of writers. Mm. I've had little moments. Do you know what, right? First it was like with us in East London, it was ICA. Mm. Then it went on to CMS, which mm -hmm. was the grimier time. Then mm. it went on to TKS. And it was grimy. Yo. Like, it, TKS then, everyone was in it. You'd even have people who don't even write. They were in it. And it escalated. And <coughs> it was like the connect... You know, like the internet. Mm -hmm. We were connected. Like, you had writers... Because before... You would stick to your own area. Like, East wouldn't mix with West or yeah, but South. But you was in the Ardies. I, I was in loads of crew. Yeah, I was I was in like um, up CWS with Snatch. Mm, like mm. I was in that. Like, like, like I never mm. really put Yardies up, but my connection with like I've known this dude nearly all my life, and like we've always stayed connected. So he was a big influence in my life because like do you know what it was like I said it weren't his like his tag or whatever. It was him as a person, like you connected with him, and like then, mm. and we kind of broke the boundaries, like because then other writers from West London or South London we used to come to well, East yeah. London, and we like at the end of the day it was like a bigger unity, like these guys, like the story that should be told, which we won't go into because there's not enough time. It's like you know, like the Second World War, mm -hmm. like. We was in the trenches, mate. You know what I mean? It was like sirens were going off all around. Like this is this is what it was like. Mm -hmm. And these these dudes here, they're they're five star generals. Mm -hmm. Like they're not just they're not like me. I'm a I'm a I'm one of tell you boys and we go over <laughs> no, you're there, and I get shot you're straight you're away. Dead, they no, they, no, they were they were the generals. He's undercover. He's undercover. I'm not undercover. He's always I'm been undercover. undercover. I never knew that. Do you know what? I'm not. Undercover. I never knew what he could do. It's only, you know it's, only, it's only later on in it life. Was, it mm. was like them. You know, like yeah. you, you watch Only Fools and Horses, you get like Uncle Albert during yeah. the war. Like, it's one of them stories. Like, our generation, we're like Uncle Albert. Like, oh, during the war and everyone <laughs> in the Netflix, <laughs> like, oh, he's going on. <laughs> Don't take this liberties. Is, no, yeah, this is what it's like. When you hear stories like what we got up to, yeah. like, you've heard a million. Like, yeah. you've had... You've had the biggest writers in London coming on your podcast. Everyone, we got the idea what it was like, but mm. but they don't know. But they don't. Mm. You'll never know unless yeah, I, you was there. I really, think, yeah. I, I, like, think, I yeah. think from this this different time. Because bear in mind, I'm I'm not from this generation. You yeah. understand? Different like, time. My whole pre premise of this episode was to wind up the toy cars and let these boys go, um, and you you are all certainly fulfilling. Cause I I I feel a nostalgia sense. I feel sometimes it's not. What you say is how you say it. Yeah. 
And that's what differentiates each podcast. Like, you've all got different lives, and these are lives of many lives, and it's like, you know, I mean, mm. even talking about the now, you know, I was going to get into what's the future, but you guys are doing... I mean, I've got peace from you, and it's just like like that next day, Fuji Cold. And, of course, we stay in touch. Yes, I, I mean, love seeing your Instagram, and it's popping with the craziest airbrush now, and, like, 3D models of pieces. Mm. It's just... Yeah, yeah. yeah I like... Tal- he's, tal- a, tal- he's tal- a pioneer, man. Do you know what? legend... Yeah. We had you know, to come on here to, you know, I had to make this this story yeah. told because if it wasn't for you, people need to hear it. People, people, people need to hear what? it. If it wasn't fully yes, I like East London graffiti, it wouldn't have gravitated the way it was. He was like a general. Like you, you knew a lot of people, and like back in the old days, he would like bring you along. Say like I weren't no good at piecing, but if I did something with him, he would like show me like how to make it more. Like, touch it up, make it mm. more neat and stuff. Mm-mm. Like, so, if it weren't for him, a lot of the East London writers, they probably wouldn't have, like, become, like, the names was they good. did. He was because good at I still got one of your characters from I was, 90, I was from good at drawing. He don't like to boost himself up. No, I was, good. Yeah, I was good at drawing. Right, right, I still yeah. got that in my portfolio yeah, I know. from 1985. He was good at, yeah. like, I was yeah. good at drawing. I was, like I said, like, from the Egyptian thing, I was always mm. into art, mm. you know what I mean? So, like... As you get older, I pursued that, like, in school. Yeah. And, you know, I was always into art, but it was... Back then, it was different because, like, you had, like, limited space of time because, mm. like, certain places you'd go, they were done on a daily. Mm. Sometimes they'd get done maybe two or three times a day by indiv- other individuals coming, mm. so you didn't have the, the time to be more creative, mm. if you get what I mean. Mm. But, like, he was very creative... Like, he was very creative, but mm. he would get bored very quickly. Like, he'd start something and then realise, ah, oh, I didn't come in here to do this. And then he'd, <laughs> like, he would just go to town. Do you know you what I mean? Mike Tyson, you know He is. A lot of people say that. He, was, he, he was, calls me Mike. Mike. He was like Mike Tyson. <laughs> and also, like, going back to the, you know, the, the, the athleticism in you guys, you know, all different dans and belts and things like that. I'd be fucking Sergeant Slaughter, camel clutched onto the floor if I said anything wrong in this heart of this, this podcast. <laughs> no. But I'll say this much. Uh, Chain, your life has changed yeah. and you your energy is infectious when it comes to the discipline of um of physique and uh you know perfecting the best health possible like you are that's all you do now yeah it's, it's my life just like I, it was when i was bombing mm. that's how the same energy i've got that energy your mm. whole life's changed yeah 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 but i've still got that energy mm. Mm. you know i, I train so hard mm. You know, my own special train is like f- unique Mm-mm. to myself Mm-mm. that I've developed. I'm a master of myself. Mm. I've mastered it. I'm still my ma- master's never finished. Mm-mm. You keep learning, and every day you get deeper and you get deeper and you get spiritual deeper. Stuff, man. You get deeper. Yeah, I'm guys, very spiritual. You know? It come when I train. It comes from the God. I can feel it. He's talking to me, and I just train. Do you train. know that the spiritual connection is art? Yeah, it is it's art. Yeah. There's, there's nothing else. Of course, yeah. It's, it's art. It's art. It's the way you I train. You exercise the spirit when you paint. Yeah, yeah. When you uh, write yeah. poems. You lock off. You lock off yeah. and you focus and you're there. Mm. I think I, I don't think people really see the, the depths in which there, there is a spiritual value. I've got an allotment. Like, I've got an allotment. I've got an allotment yeah. like that. Yeah. And I just go to my allotment yeah. and I just do my work there. You know, you know in Tibet, right, your first lessons in the, with the monks is doing pictures with coloured sand. If you go to the, the, I think it's, is it the Zen, the Zen monks, Buddhist monks in Japan, the first lessons are the, doing uh, drawings. If you can't draw, they make you trace a picture and colour it in. No. It exercises the spirit. Really? Yeah. See, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And, and the sooner that's recognised, and I hope with every podcast, you know what I mean? It does get recognised. Um, I've, I still carry that energy. It's all around me. Art is all around me. Mm. People, That's I'm connected. My girl's got a degree. It's all The person energy. I shared the allotment with, it's all energy, she's, yeah. a art, like, she's a proper yeah. artist. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, art is there for me, man. Mm. What's the future, Fuji? Uh, what's your future? What's my future? Yeah. I'm just, like, I'm retired, mate. <laughs> like, do you know what? It's not really me. I'm just too busy. I got to work, like... And do you know what the difference is now? Where you have to pay for it, I don't enjoy it. I enjoyed it when it was free, mm. then you, mm. right? Because mm. I think art, they should be paying the artists to, to do murals, like, mm. or do 
do their paintings. I don't think you should go so out these and have are to paint. It's skilled, man. It's such mm. a big skill. Yeah, good point. That this is, is the reason, like, I don't, like, it's, you could go and buy, it's like, 30 or 40 quids mm. can of paint, right? Mm. Like, you'll go somewhere, like, you'll paint, and then the next day you'll go past it, it's and gone. it's gone, like... Mm. And you go to train yards, then? No, nah, like, the, do you know the, what? The train tracks. But have you been on the tracks now, now down Hammers, from West from West Kent to Hammersmith? Battered. Mm. It wasn't like that back in my day. It's fucking battered. It's like how the Metropolitan used to be. It's that bad now. It's just that they've changed. Even bad. They've just, changed like they don't, a, they don't clean it. They don't. They don't just, well, they've just changed mediums, and they instead like before, of doing trains, they're doing the walls now. Before, so if, like, yeah, 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 it's gone to the warp track side, the, which is or on the street, like all the shops. Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, yeah. they're battered. Battered. If you go like Old Kent Road, they wouldn't it's allow. Just they wouldn't allow the road to get that bomb before. Nah, never. Mm. They wouldn't. But, and, mm. I don't. I wouldn't know if there was more writers now or if there was when. I we think there's more writers now. I don't know, I don't know, because it was a there lot. Because no, there, 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 there was a lot. There was a lot, there was a lot. But there's a yeah. lot going on at the moment, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the yeah, trains yeah. are clean, the stations are clean. Yeah, because mm. people don't do the yards. They don't, they like, don't go like, online cause... no more. They do it, it's on the street or it's on, like... On, you online. Get, you get really Instagram, then yeah. yeah. like Insta fame. What's this your is thoughts the thing. on that? Yes, sir, what's your thoughts on that? No, they need to go out and do the trains again. took away the culture, man. Yeah. I'll get the urge People too shocked. People too shocked. People too shocked. Yeah. I wouldn't say that they should. Cause people, they, they don't know. They don't know. Do again. <laughs> I just don't know. You know, I could be having a funny one one day, like, and just mm. grab the cans and just go. Oh. Hence why you're wearing a mask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my samurai mask. Do you never say never? They never say never. It's a samurai never. mask. It's a samurai mask. It's a samurai. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, the, 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 yeah. The, the, the mask speaks volumes, is it? You know, it's ain't no WWF game. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. We will have to leave it, but cool, uh, we man. must do a part two. We must do a cool. part two. It's been a real fucking Respect. pleasure. It's been a real, real change. Thank King, you so much King for coming. King, King Big Boxer, King Big Boxer, cool. Come on, my guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Fuji, yes, I. Chain inside the place. Mm. What more do you want for the start of your uh, your uh, first day into your weekend? You know, I give it to you raw. Enjoy, raw. enjoy. That's right, Killer Keller <laughs> Podcast live and direct. Thank you for joining us. Sharing is caring. You know what it is. Uh, Look after yourself. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't, all right? Be lucky, people. Peace. Good stuff. Well,